Hey Cable Hawks, we're here in Delaware back home in our home state. We have friends who just bought a brand new Grand Design Momentum 351M and we're going to take you on a tour. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. Here we go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're the Cable Hawks! We'll take you on the interior of this unit and check it out of this Momentum 351M. Okay, you ready? We're gonna start with the bedroom. Yes, yeah, start with the bedroom. It is windy. It's very windy here. We got a cold front coming in. This this is typical Delaware weather. 67 degrees one day. Tomorrow's gonna be 28 and snow. So here we come into the bedroom. I'll start off with what has been upgraded or, or updated or new additions, I guess. Uh, they now have two small vented, uh, two small windows, I guess, which allows cross ventilation. So that is something that we don't have. This bedroom is very similar to our 395M, which we love, by the way. But it's always fun when you get to see another rig and all the updates and changes that they've done. So they opted for the queen, which then allows them to have the two side tables, which as you know, or, or, I mean, to me, it's instrumental. That's why we opted for a queen versus a king. Very much, I feel like, in here, ample storage for, you know, a fifth wheel. Oh, dear, I did that again. Ooh. Um, ample storage, pretty deep. You have storage on that side as well. And over here, of course, the, the I was going to say the driver's side, <laughs> this side of the bed has a little bit bigger if you opted for the king you pretty much lose all of that side table so that is one of the reasons that we definitely wanted to have two side tables you have uh puck lights up top here and you have puck lights on this as well as a little mood light strip um individual controls on these whereas these are all or nothing storage under the bed And of course, in your slide closet, you have very, which we feel is ample storage. We did worry about this a little bit, but we've made out great with ours. Um, each drawer pulls out. And then in this unit, they put this little credenza um, storage. Not quite sure. I think to me, personally, it's more of a de decorative thing. That it does have an outlet here, so you can actually put an alarm clock or a fan, a sound machine, something like that, and get it up off the floor. But speaking of the floor, the first thing that I noticed when we came into this, there is absolutely no carpet in this bedroom or this entire unit. For as as a matter of fact, they've taken the carpet off this and off of over here. You can get a really good shot of it. They've put linoleum up there underneath that cabinet. Mm -hmm. Whereas in most units, you have carpet that runs all along here. Personally, I like not having the carpet because it's icky. It shows wear. Um, and it's just not attractive. Now, on the flip side of that, you're going to see all the dust and the dirt. <laughs> a third AC. They, or This unit has three ACs. So this unit has AC, has a carbon monoxide, and a smoke detector all in one has does it does have the blackout shades and now the shades have this reflectives reflect reflectix on the back to help keep the heat out as well um, we like the blackout shades are nice this is also your emergency exit on your lippert window as well you just push it out like this it's pretty new, so it, some of the seals are a little tight. Your one heat register in the wall and your two AC uh, vents in the ceiling, or they could be used as your heat pump vents as well. If you have a heat pump, the heat pump will pimp through that. Pimp through that or pump through that? Well, you can pimp in the bedroom. Pimp in the bedroom? Yeah, I guess yeah. you could. <laughs> uh, slide control and your thermostat. This is also your thermostat and your TV backer. I think that's it for in here, right? 
I do like the change in the doorknobs. These are different. Um, just a little update. Frosted glass. There's been pros and cons because the light does come through. But I do like the decor of it. It's pretty cool. There are USB connectors right there beside the bed. Oh, yeah. To include a 110 outlet on, on both, both sides. sides. Yep. So if you have a CPAP or whatever, it'll fit right there on the nightstand just like mine does. So coming out into the hallway, you have another smoke detector. Of course, you have your other, another window. Bathroom, I don't see a whole lot of difference in ours. So we'll start with a shower. You have the deep step-down shower with this one, two, three, four head shower system. It looks really neat. I don't know how much pressure you're going to get out of it but it is pretty cool looking with the baskets you now have this unit now has clear glass versus that frosted kind of beverly glass maybe a little bit easier to clean and i noticed that this unit the enclosure goes all the way up now and your teak seat so very i feel like i'm only five four but with the skylight you have plenty of room and they put the baskets in. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. I do notice the sinks are a little bit deeper and a little bit bigger um, in this unit, which is really nice. Standard um, foot flush toilet. And you have pretty deep, I don't know if you can see in there, storage. I would think shelving, stackable shelving is going to be real useful for that. It goes probably all the way back to the shower. Yes. Yeah, so right here, that's where my arm is. Yeah, to so, the yeah. All right. Our heat vent, not in the floor also again. Um, ample storage. This one's really deep over here. And that is your plumbing also. And then you have a pretty deep, pretty deep medicine cabinet. And just one uh, one outlet in here, one 110 outlet. That's also your GFI breaker too. We always know. So, and then your standard pocket door with a super strong magnet. Yeah. I feel like the bathroom is definitely ample space. I do like the bathroom. Oh, and there's a power vent, power fan here that you just pop it up for some fresh air on your tiptoes. All right, coming down, you've got your motion light here for your step. That's and nice for in the dark, you know, when you get up in the middle of the night, yeah. that, that comes on to light the way down the steps. Yep. And then you do have a individual switch here to get this light because 90% of your lights are on your Lippert One Control Touch system, but there are a couple of switches underneath this counter and then one here. Okay. Coming on into the kitchen area. At the bottom of those steps, you have the dust pan, the quick quick kick dust pan, which I will say has been um, a nice bonus to have that, just to be able to sweep the dirt up right there. It does come with a hose that will do the tail and the nose, from the tail to the nose. We choose not to use ours, it's just a little bit cumbersome, but it is a nice feature if you have it. This is a good coffee margarita bar. It does have two 110 outlets, so a total of four plugs. You have two USB ports here, and there's also your slide controls and your two awnings, and then your ceiling lights. So you don't have to go to the one control touch when you come right in. But this unit, I'm talking some kick butt, for me, in my opinion, storage, cabinetry. A lot. Even they even utilize this little space above the fuse box for something. And then all of this drawer space. So lots of space to put junk. Because as you know, that's what happens. This is, we figured out, is the back of the uh, bathroom cabinet. So there's your, your, your width of it right there. Frosted glass on this as well. And I like that hardware. They changed the hardware. It's like a brushed nickel. It's really pretty. Very neutral. Coming around here to what makes me very jealous is this new Insignia 4 burner stove. It has three different size burner plates. But you can literally put four pots. You don't have to kind of finagle them. You can put four pots. And your racks are removable to wash. Now, let me just, you ready for a big oven for RV? 
Look at this. I have stove envy. That is nice. So you can do a lot of cooking if you want to cook. This this unit would definitely make do for full time use. Has oven light, and then of course your little light flicker knobs. And I believe we think when you turn this on, these lights will turn red, so you'll know that you have a burner on. And there's a little side um, cookie sheets probably, and it does have a pull out tray as well. Above this is the microwave. It is not a convection. It is just a regular microwave with a turntable. And then a little bit of storage up here. And this is where your microwave plugs into. There is a 110 outlet back here. So you can sit something there, a blender, you know, something, mixer. You can hook a mixer to make something. Um, island, nice island with flip up with a flip-up counter so you can have seating there. And they have, I'm not sure what to call this stove, this sink. It's a farmhouse sink. It's split, but it's very short split. So pull down, spick it. I do like the features here. All right. Come around here. You got your, your 18 cubic foot nor cold uh, gas or electric refrigerator. This is not a residential. And everybody knows the story with no cold nor cold. It's good and it's bad. Once you figure it out, I think you're good to go. And we've figured ours out at this point. I like the looks of it though. Come around here, you got an ample size pantry with lighting now. This has lighting in it that ours didn't have. But it does pretty deep, pretty nice. And then of course you have your standard storage that goes right to here. Island storage. And they've even got storage in the island. I mean, like lots of space. And I like how they did the contrast of the gray with the darker brown. Looks nice. Plenty of, plenty of storage. And then they have this, I don't know what you call this, a pop-up power power strip, I guess. Has two, two USBs and two 110s. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so you can charge phones, you can mix your margaritas, you can put your iPads out there, whatever you need. And here's the flip up on this. So you have two seats here, and then I don't know if we showed it, but there was a table under the bed that sits right here. It just sits here in the super sofa. Super sofa has four recliners, two heated and massages on the end. They all, they all do recline. Pretty much. Yeah. There you go. I'll recline. With heat, light, massage, and two USB ports. And then you get to watch your 50-inch smart TV from this side. Fireplace, which we use a lot of for electric heat. And then plenty of ample storage above this as well. Yeah, viewers, just, just just know that that thing, if the weather is 40 or above, that fireplace is ample enough to heat your rig. And or if you elect to option in a heat pump, you'll be fine. You won't have to burn propane. Yeah, we use, we have to turn ours off today. It's been a little yep. bit too hot. Uh, above that is the, I guess you want to call it the entertainment center. Their Rockford Fosgate stereo system and their information on their one touch control and a usb port as well so you can plug and play there you cast your phone or whatever you call yep. it Blue mm -hmm. bluetooth your phone bluetooth your phone yep okay and a little bit of storage not much but put a dvd player there or something like that dvd player they still exist they do still exist yeah. think about it when we've been places where we get no signal yeah so, and then here is your Max Air fan for above your stove, right which there. utilize that a lot. That's a good, that draws in a lot of air as well. Big, nice windows. And these go all the way up now. Or we just have the smaller ones. I mean, they get, they get, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they yeah. got big windows that go all the way up. Hmm. So lots of airflow. You turn that Max Air fan on and you're going to get lots of airflow. One nice thing about being a Momentum owner is I love the windows. I love the open air feel of a Momentum. And that's something that people, when they come into our rig constantly, like, look at the windows. 
we don't think about it as much as other people say, look at your windows. Right. And did we go over the accent lighting that's above there? That does change colors. So well, can, yeah, on this unit, that does change colors. Yep, and it's above the uh, coffee bar as well. Mm -hmm. And in here, you see again, there's no carpet on this slide nor the kitchen slide. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get mine done that way sooner or later. Uh, bunk area up there, which now you can turn the bunk lights on from the Lippert One One Control as well, which is pretty cool. It has its own outlet up there and USB port. As full timers, we call that the attic. Yes. We use it for attic storage. Mm -hmm. And there is a ladder that comes with that to get you up there. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this unit has a lot of space. Your living space is pretty limited. I think if you wanted a dining room table, you could opt for just um, a love seat with a table. But yeah, it's it's um. I, I like the kitchen area. I, I really do like the kitchen area, this one. You definitely have a lot of counter space. Coming into the toy hall, this is an 11-foot garage. Yep, yeah, 11-foot garage uh, with three the three season doors and three windows. So you get a lot of light out here. Okay, you can put that deck down. You can use it as light. a deck. Those mm -hmm. are glass doors. The insert or the top glass is down, so now you have screens up there. Yep. But you can put the top or the bottom, you can put the top glass back up and be fully glassed. Yep. And they are the Lippert uh, three season doors as well. Yep. But yep, so back here, 11 foot garage with a Happy Jack system with a bed and the Happy Jack bunk system that comes down. So you can actually sleep four people out here if you wanted to. Um, and there comes it comes with a table that's actually strapped to the top. So you'll see there's the three holes here. You have tables up there yep. strapped to it. There's your AC unit. This bed comes down. Mm -hmm. The benches come down and flip it out to be benches, of course. Well, I like school bus benches, which to me they remind yeah. me of. Mm -hmm. And your, ta yeah. your table inserts go in there, and then you put and your table. There's your ladders out. as well. There's your bunk ladder and your in your storage area ladder. Yep. What well, this unit has a very nice, in my opinion, a half bath. You have a, a nice window, and you have a power max air fan in this one. You have ample ample storage underneath. We have a medicine cabinet. We don't even have a medicine cabinet. Mm. We got a mirror. That's it. That's it. But we could get a medicine cabinet. Yes. Uh, foot flush toilet and two lights out here. So you have plenty of light. Washer dryer hookup. And then you also have your bed controls, your light controls, and you can do your awnings from here and your back awning. Comes with a TV that actually pulls down. So if you're sitting down, you're not looking like this up there, mm -hmm. but it, it is on an arm and it comes down. The Rockford false gate speakers, as well as lighting, and then that puck lighting behind you, Michael, is is individual control. So when you're in the bed, you don't you can you can turn light on without getting out of the bed. Yeah, your head level will be right about here when yep. the, when the top bunk's down. So this will be your bed light. Light. When in mm -hmm. when in the bunk is down. And I believe there's one, two, three outlets out here. I think there's one back here. So all in all, this is a really this is to me could be a full-time unit to live in the bait the way that they have it set up Outside, this thing has two 30 pound propane cylinders. You can feed the unit from one side or the other, or both at the same time, drawing off at the same time. That's fine. Here's what we call in the uh, full time world the basement storage or the under storage, underbelly storage. There's an access point right there for your to run your chase up if you want to put a satellite dish up or maybe another antenna, what have you. That's your chase for that particular uh, use. There is a puck on top of the roof where you can go ahead and access through that there's your tire tire link tpms control box right there that's the power of so the tpms system for the unit of course here's your hose for the uh, vacuum inside and this is your 
hose to hook up to your water source right here. This will be your water connection port where you plug in this hose to and you have a hose nozzle. Yeah. Sprayer hose. Sprayer hose. 110 GFI outlet out here to plug in stuff. And there's your vac dust bag right there. You can remove your dust bag from interior from the interior dust pan. And that's your vacuum bag there. It does it is a slight pass through. It does go back to a uh, an angle and then straight again, but there is a pass through storage here. Your more rise step above steps. All your grand designs are fully laminated walls. Coming around here, you have an outdoor TV, you have your Rockford Rock Foscate system speakers here, you got a 32 inch TCL smart TV here. You got Cooper tires on this one, twin axles. Yep, these are the LED lights now, they no, more, no longer put little DOT lights down here, they use LED light strips on the back of the unit, which is nice. Of course, you got your fold out ladder, you got two. 30 gallon gasoline tanks in here. One that feeds the uh, generator and one for your toys. A little separate gas station for your toys. All right, coming down below here, you got an Onan, Cummins Onan generator, 5500 watt generator that'll run this unit with no problem. Run both ACs with no problem. And of course, all your heating systems also with no problem. Uh, we, we put that to the test. There's your hydraulic fluid and your battery box with the vent. And on the hookup side of your unit is your water workstation. You got another spray port up here. Here are your hookups for your satellite system. Now, if you run your satellite cable up here, if you get a dish network or what have you, this is where you pump or plug them in. Or the campground offers a cable TV. That's where you plug them in. Here's a 110 outlet there. Your water filter, your low point drains are right here. Nice and convenient. Your black tank and your gray tank full pulls and your city water inlet and your water tank full fill is all right here. You feed everything up through this port. And everything stays nice and warm and insulated. By the way, this whole underneath, this whole underbelly is also heated. Here's your one touch leveling system. I've did a video about that on my fifth wheel hookup. Love this thing. All I do is touch that button and this unit levels itself. 50 amp, there's your 10 or 12 gallon water heater. There's your discharge port for your black tank and your gray. And this is your discharge port for the rear bath. And this is your clean out port where you plug your hose in to clean the uh, bl rear black tank out. Underneath here is with your gas station. This feeds your generator, 25 gallons. This feeds your toys, 25 gallons. It says 30 on it, but I've, I've found that 25 gallons is pretty much the max. This particular unit weighs in at 14,280 with a maximum GVWR of 16,800 pounds. Again, dual axles. These axles are 7,000 pound axles. And of course, this unit was built in 8 of 21, making it a 2022 model. All right, Campaholics, this has been the tour of the 2022 351M by Grand Design. If there is another momentum that you're looking at or any other Grand Design product, let us know in the comments. Maybe we can find it and video it for you or ask, answer any questions you may have. That's what we're here for. See ya.